We're back at the lake. I'm going to try to build on the momentum from the last couple of sessions. I'm hoping that playing longer and buying in deeper, now $500, is going to lead to some bigger pots. So let's get into it. Here, look down at King King 7 6, double suited in the big blind. There's a couple late position limps. Small blind makes it 25. I call, and both the limpers call. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes Ace Jack 5 with two clubs. Small blind checks, I check. Late position player bids 55. He gets one caller, and me and the small blind both fold. Here, look down at Ace Ace 5 5 Rainbow in the big blind. The cutoff limps. Button makes it 25. Small blind calls, I call. Back to the cutoff, he makes it 100. The cutoff has about 250 total. The button makes it 300. The small blind calls, and then I push for 475, and everyone calls. So we're going four ways to a run out. Flop comes Ace-9-3 Rainbow. So looking pretty good so far. Turn brings a six. So don't really want to see any straight cards here on the river. River looks like a five, but it brings another six. I turn over my hand. And the only other player who turns over his hand is the cutoff, who turns over queen, queen, 10, 8, double suited, and everyone else muck. So taking down a pretty nice sized pot here in the early going of the session. Here, look down at jack 10, 9, 4, double suited on the button. There's one early position limp. The cutoff makes it 15. I call. Both the blinds and the limper call. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes 9, 8, 4, all spades. Early position player Donk leads 10, the cutoff calls, and I call, so we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings a four, early position player checks, cutoff checks, and I decide to slow play and check back, so still three ways to a river. River brings a jack, both players check to me, I bet 60, and unfortunately they both fold, so we take it down. Here we look down at jack 10, 8, 7, single suit to the 10 in the cutoff, there's an early position limp, high jack to my right makes it 25, I call, one of the blinds calls, and the limper calls, so we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes ace, queen, nine with two spades. When it checks to me, I decide to check, take a free card, so still four ways to a turn. Turn brings another nine. No one really seems too interested as it checks to me again, and I bet 50, and we take it down. Here, look down at king, queen, nine, four, double suited in the hijack. There's three limps to me. I limp, and both the blinds check, so we're going six ways to a flop. Flop comes ace, queen, two with two diamonds and a club. Player to my right bets 25. I call, and two other players call, so we're going four ways to a turn. Turn brings an eight and it checks to me. I decided to turn my hand into a bluff. Uh, it was a limp pot. Nobody should be super strong. So I bet 110, but we do get two callers. So we're going three ways to a river. River brings another ace and both players check to me again. And here, I don't really see much point of betting. You know, I do have some showdown value here. Um, so they either have an ace, which I'm not gonna be able to bluff them off of, or if they don't, then I probably have the best hand. So I check back. And the early position player turns over his hand. He has ace eight of diamonds for the boat. So it looks like he wasn't gonna go anywhere with the flush draw and he turned two pair river to boat. So he's gonna take it down. So here I look down at queen jack 10 nine rainbow on the button. There's an early position limp, late position raised to 25. I call, one of the blinds calls and the limper calls. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes jack four three rainbow. Checks to me, I decide to check back. So still four ways to a turn. Turn brings a seven, bringing in the backdoor flush draw. Small blind bets 40, folds to me. I decide to call here with a gutter and I might be able to win with uh, you know two pair. So I call and we're going heads up to a river. River brings a five and the small blind checks to me. I decide to check back. He turns over his hand. He has jack 10, nine, eight with clubs and I turn over my hand. So he basically had the only hand that I beat. So we're gonna take it down. Here, look down at Jack Jack 9 6, single suited to the Jack in middle position in a straddled pot. There's a limper to my right. I limp, another late position limper. Both the blinds complete, and we're going six ways to a flop. Flop comes Queen 10 4 with two diamonds, giving me the open ended stray flush draw. When it checks to me, I bet 35, and we get one caller, so we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings a slightly above average card in the King of Diamonds. Seat 5 in the small blind, he pots it to 130. And I think here for a little bit about potentially raising, um, you know, with me having the jack and the nine with the 10 queen king out there, he's pretty much always going to have enough flush here. Um, and I don't see him doing this with an eight high flush. So I thought about raising, but I just called. We're going heads up to a river. Luckily, the river does not pair the board in the five of hearts. He thinks for a little bit and he bets 200. And then to me, I'm just trying to Hollywood here a little bit, but... I go ahead and make it 990, which is the max I can make it. And he immediately says, I can't believe this is happening to me again. And 
he makes the call and he says, do you have Jack nine? I turn over my hand and he turns over his and it looks like he had the ace eight of diamonds. So pretty sick cooler there, but happy to be on the right side of it. And we're taking down a massive pot. Here, look down at ace, ace, four, three, single suit to the ace in middle position. There's one limp. I make it 25 and we get two callers. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes seven, six, five rainbow. When it checks to me, I bet 40 kind of as a, you know, see where I'm at bet and they both call. So we're going still three ways to a turn. Turn brings an ace of clubs, bringing in the backdoor flush draw. When it checks to me, I bet 90, probably could have bet a little bit more here, but um, you know, neither one of them raised me on the flop. So they probably don't have a straight. Even if they do, I do have some now additional equity to hit on the river. So I bet 90 and only the late position player call. So we're going heads up to a river. River brings a pretty bad card in the king of clubs, completing the backdoor flush. I check and he thinks for a bit and bets 240 back to me. I ended up tanking for a couple of minutes here. This was a couple of hands after the previous hand. So I don't know. I, I kind of thought, I mean, he definitely could very easily have some kind of a straight draw combo on the flop that ended up just picking up the flush draw on the turn and hitting it here on the river. But I kind of just thought also that he knows that me betting out flop turn and then checking river i mean it looks like exactly as i am here scared of the flush draw so that just led me to call and he says good call i have a set your set is good so i guess he put me on aces which i do have but obviously having the four three as well and taking it down so here look down at ace ace queen jack rainbow in middle position when it folds to me i open a 20 and we get five callers so we're going six ways to a flop Flop comes king seven five with two spades. Checks to the player to my right, he pots it, I fold. Late position player calls and everyone else folds. So they're going heads up to a turn. So I captured the conclusion of the hand here. The turn brought in the front door flush with the two of spades. Player to my right potted it. The other player called all in and they're going heads up to a run out. River brought a six of hearts, didn't really change anything. Player to my right shows Ace King 9 8. So he flopped top pair with enough flush draw and a straight draw, and he's going to take it down with enough flush. I played another orbit after that previous hand, didn't get a whole lot to play, and decided to rack up. What's up, guys? Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 500, out for 29.39, so a profit of 2,439 which uh, I had to check my records for, but it's actually my largest live win ever. Um, so early on, I got the double suited kings, um, folded after uh, ace high flop. Then shortly after that, it was within the first 30 minutes, I got that aces and fives hand, uh, rainbow. Uh, ended up just calling a raise. There was a back raise to $100. Uh, the other player made it 300. The other player pushed for like four and change. I ended up pushing and everyone was all in. Obviously uh, flopped the top set, ended up winning with the boat. Really after that, um, I think I went probably about two or three hours without playing much. Uh, basically went from 1700 down to about 1400. There was two bluffs in there I attempted. One of them was successful with the, uh, had the wrap on the turn on the uh, ace queen nine nine board got that through but then with the king queen nine four double suited uh tried betting on the turn didn't uh you know get anyone to fold uh, we got two callers and then the river brought the ace on the river so um you know trying to bluff a little bit more mix up my play so you know 50 percent success rates not too bad and then uh towards the end there obviously got the jack jack nine six um, you know, flopped the open-ended straight flush draw, bet out, got two callers, uh, hit the straight flush on the turn. And when he let out or he bet pot, I thought about raising, which kind of sounds crazy to think about raising with a straight flush because I put him on exactly what he had, enough flush. And obviously I knew that if the board paired, I was gonna lose a lot of value. So luckily it didn't, but a couple other players at the table, they said that they would have raised on the turn which I don't know if I would have really made more than what I made, but let me know what you guys think about that. If you have a straight flush in that situation on the turn, do you go ahead raise there or do you play like I did? Um, and then towards the end there, got the aces, uh, flopped the straight, turned the set, and then the river brought the flush. Uh, I ended up calling his bluff. I just kind of felt that 
He's not gonna bet us straight there. He's gonna be scared of the flush, so I don't know. I just kind of sniffed it out, and luckily I was good. So uh, I think I played pretty well. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button. If your viewing experience could have been better, please let me know how down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.